Well, hello everyone. Welcome back, Papa's Posse, to the Papa's Channel, Papa's Comic Books, Coffee, and more. Okay, before we begin, don't forget about that QR code right there. You hit that QR code, I'll take you to my YouTube, my eBay, and my Instagram page. Let's see who we have today. Walt Disney's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. It's a little golden book. Copyright 1984, Walt Disney Company. Western Publishing, Racine, Wisconsin. Now, before we begin, don't forget, please hit that like button down below. Please hit that sub button down below and leave me a comment. Tell me what you thought about it. Okay. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Here we go. Long ago in a faraway kingdom, there lived a lovely young princess named Snow White. Her stepmother, the queen, was cruel and vain. She hated anyone whose beauty rivaled her own. And she watched her stepdaughter with angry, jealous eyes. The queen had magic powers and owned a wondrous mirror that spoke. Every day she stood before it and asked, Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest one of all? And every day the mirror answered, You are the fairest of all, O queen, the fairest our eyes have ever seen. As time passed, Snow White grew more and more beautiful, and the queen grew more and more envious. So she forced the princess to dress in rags and work in the kitchen from dawn till dusk. Despite all the hard work, Snow White stayed sweet, gentle, and cheerful. Day after day, she washed and swept and scrubbed. And day after day, she dreamed of a handsome prince who would come and carry her off to his castle. One day, when the queen spoke to Hamira, it replied with the word she had been dreading. Fear is thy beauty, majesty, but hold the lovely maid I see. One who is more fair than thee. Lips red as rose and hair black as ebony. Skin white as snow. Snow white, shrieked the angry queen. She must be destroyed. The queen sent for a huntsman. Take Snow White deep into the forest, she said. And there, my faithful one, kill her. The unhappy man begged the queen to be merciful but she would not be persuaded. Remember my magic power, she warned. Obey me, or you and your family will suffer. The next day, Snow White, never suspecting that she was in danger, went off with the huntsman. When they were deep in the woods, the huntsman drew his knife. Then suddenly he fell to his knees. I can't kill you, he sobbed. Forgive me, sweet princess. It was the queen who ordered this wicked deed. The queen, gasped Snow White. She's mad with jealousy, said the huntsman. She'll stop at nothing to destroy you. Quick, run away and don't come back. I'll lie to the queen now. Go, run, save yourself. Frightened, Snow White fled through the woods. Tangled branches tore at her clothes. Sharp twigs scratched her arms and legs. Strange eyes stared from the shadows. Danger lurked everywhere. Snow White ran on and on. At last, Snow White fell wearily to the ground and began to weep. The gentle animals of the forest gathered around and tried to comfort her. Chirping and chattering, they led her to a tiny cottage. Oh, said Snow White, how sweet. It's just like a doll's house. But inside, the little tables and chairs were covered with dust and the sink was filled with dirty dishes. My, said Snow White, perhaps the children who live here are orphans and need more, need someone to take care of them. Let's tidy everything up. Maybe they'll let me stay and keep house for them. The animals all helped, and soon the place was spick and span. Meanwhile, the seven dwarfs who lived in the cottage were starting home from the mine where they worked. On their way, they sang... Hi-ho, hi-ho, it's home from work we go. The dwarfs were amazed to find the house so neat and clean. They were even more amazed when they tiptoed upstairs and saw Snow White 
A sleeping girl? I mean, a sleeping girl, said Dwarf called Doc. She's pretty, said the one named Sneezy. Be beautiful, sighed Bashful. Bah, said Grumpy. She's going to be trouble. Mark my words. Snow White woke up with a start. Why, you're not children, she said when she saw the dwarfs. You're little men. The dwarfs gathered around her. I read your names on the bed, said Snow White. Let me guess who you are. You must be Doc, and you must be bashful. Then there's Sleepy, Sneezy, Sleepy, and Happy, and Dopey. And you must be Grumpy. When Snow White told the dwarfs of the queen's plan to kill her, they decided that she should stay with them. We're asking for trouble, huffed Grumpy, but we can't let her be caught by the wicked, by the wicked queen. I mean, wicked queen, said Doc. The others agreed. That night, after supper, they all sang and danced and made merry music. Bashful played the concertina, Happy tapped the drums, Sleepy tooted the horn, and Grumpy played the organ. Dopey didn't know how to sing or play a tune, but he was very good at wiggling his ears. Snow White loved her new friends, and she felt safe at last. But the queen had learned from her mirror that Snow White was still alive. This time she hissed, I'll finish her. With a magic spell, she turned herself into an old peddler woman. She filled a basket with apples, putting a poison apple on top. One bite, she cackled, and Snow White will sleep forever. Then I will be the fairest in the land. Next morning before they left for the mine, the dwarfs warned Snow White to be on her guard. Beware of strangers, said Doc. Right, said Grumpy. Don't let nobody or nothing in the house. Oh, Grumpy, said Snow White. You do care. I'll be careful, I promise. She kissed him and the others goodbye, and the dwarfs went cheerfully off to work. A few minutes later, the queen came to the kitchen window. Baking pies, dearie, she asked. It's apple pies the men love. Here, taste one of these. She held the poison apple out to Snow White. Snow White remembered the dwarfs' warning, but when harm can, what harm can a poor old woman do, she thought. And that apple does look delicious. She bit the poison apple. Then, with a sigh, she fell to the floor. Told by the birds and animals that something was wrong, the dwarfs raced back to the cottage. They saw the queen sneaking off, and they ran after her. As storm clouds gathered and rain began, a rain began to fall, the dwarfs chased the queen up a high rocky mountain. Up, up, they went to the very top. Crack! There was a flash of lightning, and the evil queen fell to her doom below. Oh no, she died. But it was too late for Snow White. She was so beautiful, even to death, that the dwarfs could not bear to part her. They built her a coffin of glass and gold, and day and night they kept watch over their beloved princess. One day a handsome prince came riding through the forest, as soon as he saw Snow White, he fell in love with her. Kneeling by her coffin, he kissed her. Snow White sat up, blinked her eyes, and smiled. The prince's kiss had broken the evil spell. As the dwarfs danced with joy, the prince carried Snow White off to the castle, where they lived happily ever after. Well, I hope you enjoyed Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, Walt Disney's A Little Golden Book. Copyright 1984, the Walt Disney Company. Now, don't forget, please hit that like button down below. Please hit that subscribe button down below and leave me a comment. Tell me what you thought about it. Okay, as Papa, Snow White, the dwarfs, and the evil queen always say... That was easy. Until next time, Papa is out.